right, folks, welcome to um, this next session. Uh, I think we're in for a treat. We have Nicolas Rosenthal, who has come all the way from Argentina to share with us. He also came all the way from Argentina last night to taste his first Guinness. <laughs> and Argentina can be reassured that he acquitted himself uh, well, admirably, admirably. <laughs> admirably. And um, it's going to be unusual in the sense that he's going to present us with effectively three papers or a video and two papers, one of his own uh, and, and another paper which he himself will introduce. And certainly in his own paper, um, I, th I think we're going to, to be intrigued and delighted as much as informed. We're going to be learning about elephants, turtles, and a snake uh, as being central to, to, to what he's proposing. Nicholas is a, a recreator and social psychologist. He worked for more than 20 years in the recreational care and training of slum youth in the scope of the current Ministry of Social Development of the government of the city of Buenos Aires. He also has a degree in theology uh, where his thesis dealt with youth spirituality. His field of work and interest for many years has been youth ministry, working since the 80s as a youth advisor in different levels of his church, the Evangelical Church of Rio de la Plata, a church with a united tradition, Lutheran and Reformed. Since June 2009, he has been in charge of its diaconia and projects area, supervising all the social and diaconal projects of this church in Argentina, Paraguay, and Uruguay. As of 2014, the area took an independent legal form as the Fundación Protestante Hora de Obrar, and you can correct my pronunciation later, thank you. Nicholas was a member between 2000 and 2004 of the Executive Committee of the World Alliance of Reformed Churches. From 2006 to 2009, he was president of the Argentine Federation of Evangelical Churches, which represents the main currents of Argentine Protestantism in their dialogue with the Argentinian state. Since 2018, he is a member of ACT Alliance's governing board representing South America, having participated in ACT since its creation and before that in ACT development. So he comes with a wealth of experience. He makes the point that he is 59 years old, i.e. he's still a youth <laughs> in, in our church uh, circumstances. <laughs> and uh, great to have you with us. Okay, thanks and, and good morning to everyone. Um, as uh, Lauren said, I, I will pre be presenting three papers. Um, the first one is uh, the one you found in your in, in your folders um, on the web page, which is the one by Mariana Malgai, <laughs> communicator, who ran a series of interviews with indigenous people in the north of Argentina, um, with whom we are working uh, in empowerment programs about their. Uh, perspective about uh, about environment and what's happening with the environment. And so the best way of presenting that paper is to see a short uh, film that Andrea and uh, that Mariana and, he, and her team uh, did. So, right. I'm just going to set this up and then disappear. So we can hear it. No solamente la vida humana, sino que a los animales, a los pajaritos. Y es una alegría que sin monte no podemos vivir siempre, si dice nuestro abuelo que sin monte no podemos vivir. Cada cosa tiene su, su dios, por ejemplo. El árbol tiene eh, su dios, los animales también, por ejemplo. Por eso eh, nuestro abuelo nos enseña también que si nos vamos al monte, tenemos que cuidar, tenemos que okay, con cuidados si yo agarro con machete y voy tengo que sacar lo que yo necesito no solamente ir y cortar y cortar porque ese también eh, el, el espíritu no, 
no le gusta tocar. El agua para nosotros es importante, por eso. ¿no? Porque hoy en día ya no podemos tomar de un arroyito que se viene ni sabemos de dónde. Es el agua que se viene contaminada y se vienen muchas enfermedades también. Y por eso vemos, peleamos por el, por el agua que la familia o la comunidad que tenga su propio agua mejor y, o más sana, mejor dicho. Eso es lo que más necesitaba hacer en Hace 20, 20 años que estoy como cacique y trabajo eh, con la parte de la cultura nuestra. Ahora nuestra cultura, la, la naturaleza, le respeto. Y, y quién nos da a nosotros un buena salud. El Ñanderú. En Yanderú Tupán, que siempre nos protege en todo el mundo para vivir, para trabajar todo bueno. Nosotros, eh, o sea, los chicos tienen que saber respetar la tierra porque en, en la tierra es para pisar, en el monte es para nos proteger de muchas cosas, también de contaminación y los vientos, algunas veces viene eh, tormenta fuerte. Esta es la protección de nosotros. Y, y nosotros no podemos eh, este, hacer cualquier cosa de la planta, eso, eso no podemos cortar, porque es una planta nativa. Entonces, ese hay que saber respetar. Nos, nosotros sentimos eh, cuando de acá Toparada viene y arrancando todo y quedó limpio y no tenemos más aire, nada, porque... Este, sentimos como que no tenemos casa, no tenemos lugar. Y mi deseo es que, que sigamos con, con fuerza, con, con un poco de esa sabiduría para eh, que, de, que algunos de los chicos de esta comunidad salgan con, con un ejemplo, que, que no se olvide de, de su cultura. Aunque sea, por más que sea salvo un profesional de una escuela, no hay que olvidar de, de la cultura mía, que, que luche. Y, y bueno, y también para que, que los chicos también que se ven qué estamos haciendo nosotros, porque ellos son el futuro. So this was an, an example of the culture in, in the north of Argentina. Um, the second paper, which is also related to this, is the paper by Romario Doman and, and Jorge Baisa. And Romario Doman is a, a forest engineer uh, who leads our uh, reforestation program in, in, in the in Misiones province. And Jorge Baisa is a, um, is a social worker and pastor of our church, who is also part of our uh, care of creation team. And they, in their paper, they presented some of, of, of the programs and, and, uh, and projects we are trying to um, run as a church uh, and, and as, and it's, as it's the Diaconia Foundation um, in trying to get uh, congregations uh, to care for creation, which is not so easy being that many of our congregations are uh, on the countryside are, um, and their members are uh, farmers in, in, in the last uh, decades profiting from the soya, soybean uh, production uh, with a huge amount of agrotoxics. Uh, where we, we as church, our pastors have been seeing how, how the cancer rate uh, Grew and 
uh, how many people they had to um, bury uh, because of cancer or children uh, being born with uh, malformations or, or non or non born uh, miscarriages because of of, of all this but where the communities are not able to speak about this because it's it's they are so afraid of of, of trying also I mean there is a um, mixture of, of, of guilt, but also afraid of losing their, their, their way of, of, of sustainable, of, of, of living. So, um, and where nobody wants to be uh, signaled. So we have been try, trying to find ways of discussing this in the communities. And we began with the finger. <laughs> it, it, it went uh, not so good. So we just, <laughs> we just, uh, we then find that the best way is just showing the alternatives. Um, uh, instead of criticizing the model, it's just showing there is, there is possibility, there is a possibility to live up, uh, with agroecology, producing agroecology, taking what we now call traditional farmers, which are not, I would call industrial farmers, to visit other church members who are working agroecologically and to, to see this is working. Also working with communities about uh, garbage disposal, um, how uh, clogging activities, um, uh, um, making um, yes plugging activities on the on the riverbanks and and, and so on um, then this reforestation program together with the communities um, trying to restore <laughs> part of the mission jungle which the paper said we have only eight percent of the original after the amazonian jungle the second one was the Paraná jungle in the, in the in the southern part of brazil northern part of argentina paraguay there is only 8% left. Um, and most of this is, is in the province of Misiones in Argentina. And there we have a program which in the last three years three year has already plant, uh, planted 180,000 native trees. Um, doing it is sometimes in massive plantation days where with young people, we go to a sector and, and, and try to restore it, but also grow, um, showing producers that it's also good to reforest again in their even in their plantations to have a shadow with native trees that not only are better for the tea or mate tea um, bushes or so on to have shadow to um, but also the attractive birds that uh, kill that eat the bug that eats the plant that so you don't need agrotoxin so you can restore the biodiversity. Yeah, so that's that's the the kind of and the third one is to run all this with also and that is part of, of also of, of the vision of Alliance with risk management training for the communities so that we also I mean we are prepared for the next. Uh, in this case, forest uh, fire, or I mean, we, we are now in a cycle in Argentina between extreme drought or extreme rain and, 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 and floods. No, that, that is the extent. So, um, we are trying to uh, strengthen the resilience of communities for floods or for forest fires, um, but also to prevent those forest fires, not so it, to have a virtuous cycle of, of, of uh, pericarnets. So this is just for this second paper. <laughs> and then to my paper. Um, uh, what, what I um, try to um, ask ourselves is um, if this, um, what we call the, the, the civilizational crisis, um, yeah. Is new. Uh, in fact, no. I mean, we, we have been talking about this for the last 50 years. Or, or, uh, 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 the group of Rome or of, of, of the Stockholm conference happened already 50 years ago. Um, there were also other people who, who uh, 
not only spoke very visionary about, about the, 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 this civilizational crisis we had. Um, I, I mentioned uh, the radical singer Ivan Illich, who already talked about um, not, not only about the, the limits of, 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 of uh, development, but also that even the idea of, of of, of, of producing of, of an industrial way of production in, in, in the capitalist way or in the communist way at that time um, was flawed. No? So, um, so coming back to what we have been doing these days, and I'm not um, an academic, I'm, I'm trying also trying to, to understand a little bit, or even if it gets a little bit sketchy what, uh, what I will be doing. Or saying we have been talking now about um, about what is happening in our context, um, being it the extreme climate, which is um, uh, which is the extreme climate we have we are experiencing, being the pandemic, um, being it the war, um, or other or, or the, 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 the other situations we have from and war. The question is what what. What lies underneath of, of this all? Because uh, as as every school child knows, um, the earth is plain, no? and um, what is under the plain? What is under this plane? Okay, that's uh, every child knows. We have the earth is on. Okay, this would look like this. Sorry, I'm not the best. <laughs> okay, <laughs> yeah, that's the elephant. Okay, the world is 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 sustained by elephants. Okay, sorry. Six elephants. Well, one of the elephants is um is 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 our is our current economic system, no? which is. Which is actually what we have already been talking. It's a debt system. It's, it, it's an eternal debt system, being it um, by at the people level, enterprises level, government, um, countries level. I mean, from the time of, of from the time of plantations, uh, sugar plantations, or so, the debt system uh, to have uh, people paying all their life debt. This has been. I mean, from the plantations to goes back the mortgage. Goes back to the Babylonians and all. Yeah, to, 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 to after mortgage or, 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 or our, our country is paying the all the time debt, with, where the idea is that they, this debt is not unpayable. I mean, that we, in fact, are held hostage by the payment of, of, of debt. Um, uh, Yes, uh, I mean this is one of our elephants. Since we have not so oh, so much time, um, we like sorry. We I brought the cake already. Okay. Second <laughs> This our second elephant is our military industrial complex, yeah. which um, already Eisenhower has this announced in 1961 at the end of, of the, this uh, presidential mandate as, as, as running part of the war. No, the, um, the, the, the number of arms being personal arms or massive destruction arms in the war is. It's funny, I mean, there to be um, many times what we, what we need, but it's actually a system like that produces our needs, its own wars, its own being, it being, it being uh, military conflicts or being the war of drugs. Um, it conducted, we have new conflicts that use, use the arms, so we have to produce more arms and so on, and again, all uh, paid by our taxes. Um, so, uh, it's where is it? Where is it? Where we are? Yeah, 
I think that if I just mentioned also in 50 years ago, at that time it was the, what he called the, the, the uh, medical the nemesis, uh, which was actually the, 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 this over, uh, over production of, of drugs, or over production of drugs. Um, 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 we are a, a system which has uh, run over over the benefits uh, it, it produces, no? And, um, but this has grown in, in, in the last uh, decades also, um, I mean, also uh, on all the, the, the chemical production. I mean, in all also the, the agrochemical products we, we are, which are being sold for, for, for agriculture. Uh, um, they, with us, we already mentioned that with the high rates of cancer and water pollution and, and, and what, we, what we are, I mean, we, and where we are told, this is the only way to feed the world, um, and the world is unfeeded, but the, the number of operators grow. Um, this is maybe the other way. <laughs> drug trafficking and the war of drugs is again this um, illegal uh, market, which in fact helps to launder the money of, 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 of other of, of, of other sectors, um, which but which also put many of our country, especially our southern blocks, that are under uh, a, a physical uh, threat um, in, in the state of, of, of liberties being cut uh, in for this war of drugs that only have, which again have produced more death than the actual consumption has been producing. So it's, it's uh, again a threat of we have to work. First, we will need some elephants more. Um, now, I put all the extractive industries together with some of the uh, which we have already mentioned. No, we, we, we mentioned, oh, so we mentioned now the, the, um, the production of, of, of grain, um, but I mean, it's not, we are speaking about, of, about mining, mining which usually doesn't leave any benefits for the populations or the countries where they have been extracted, but through a very, very uh, polarized system of, of bribery and corruption, uh, practically all the oil winnings are getting out of the countries and it's completely and poorer. We have spoken. Yesterday, already of these 500 years of extraction of, of, of Latin America being a, a territory of sacrifice um, for the benefit of, of, of the Western capital uh, system. Um, but it's also, um, it's also the, the it's, it's also the fossil fuel production. It's the, um, let me see, um, it's it's the it's it's a grain production now in in, in great uh, in great parts of, of, of the world, what we already have said, um, and it gets slowly also on water, on, 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 on the, who owns the, 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 the water. Last, last, yeah, that's kind of fun. Um, it's who we have left. <sighs> Fossil fuel, no? It, it's, yeah. Uh, yes. Well, again, now fossil fuel, for it's not only because, I mean, of, 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 of the extraction, but the effects of the, uh, of the use of fossil fuels, the, the contamination they produce by the, by, by their production, 
the yes, I'm a little there because of a time constraint. Uh, but okay, these six elephants, what they have in common is what um, what the Iranians call the, 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 the trees hold, the critical trees hold, um, the, the surpassing of critical trees hold. All have outgrown their original benefits. They were maybe at the beginning, they were, they were good things, but nowadays they only produce more uh, pain, more, more, more poverty than they, what, 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 that what they should have done. Okay. But are those, are those um, elephants uh, floating on this in, in, in space? <laughs> <laughs> what, uh, what is that? So, every, every, every person which was drinking a steers in, in a pub knows under the under the elephants we have <laughs> yes we have <laughs> a turtle <laughs> uh, which is who, who is this dark uh, this turtle is our party 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 card system, um, which is in fact it's not only I mean it's not only a system of, of, of ex exploitation of one gender over the other genders, but it's also a, a, a system of exploitation of people of some people over a vast majority of people, um, and which is has been. Sustaining all these 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 other uh, these other elephants over the last centuries, um, but again, it's the start floating in space. What does a good Hindu know about turtles? That the turtle is over a sleeping cobra. Uh. <laughs> uh, and who's this sleeping cobra? The church and all we, all eight, all we eight billion people in uh, uh, the world, we are the ones over uh, all this system is, is being built. Um, we are the, the, the dominant uh, cobra, which, um, well, let me just go to my notes, just not to, my English is not so. Fluent. Um, because um, these all, all the systems uh, they ride on us. Uh, we feed them. Um, they can function because they have colonized our consciousness. Um, as the World Alliance of Reformed Churches already stated in, in, in its General Assembly in Debrecen in 1997, uh, they have domesticated us. They have accustomed us to an excessive comfort, they exploit us. Um, and it is necessary today to wake up this cobra. And how we can, um, how can we wake up the cobra so that um, it sets in motion and it takes off the turtles, the elephants, um, well, uh, I believe it's our Christian faith, our prophetic voice, um, which can do it. No, uh, cry, cry out, says, cry out loud, says the Lord. Um, this is the fast pleasing to the Lord. 
uh, to loosen unjust chains, to untie the bond of jokes, to let the oppressed go free and break all jokes, to share your bread with the hungry and shelter the homeless poor, to cover him, you push him naked. Um, Jesus says, love your neighbor. I made it clear how, um, for I was hungry and you gave me food. I was thirsty and you gave me drink. I was passing through and you gave me lodging. Um, a faith that is not put into action is a death faith, says James. Um, so we need a radical community, a, a reversal of the current system, a, a revolution, as we were already told yesterday by Lawrence. Um, so what if we, if we go to the to, to the to the Christian community or to, to the primitive primary Christian community, uh, which moment in history seems to be more closely related to the present one? Which where do you feel? Well, uh, Egypt, uh, under the pharaohs, uh, and perhaps the Roman system that the, the Palestinians or the, the Galileans were subject to. Yes, others, yes, is. Is there a Roman Empire? Uh -huh. Yes, I, 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 I feel especially close to, to, the, to the catacombs community in the Roman, in the Roman times, no? Um, that, uh, which was a community of resistance, small but confident, forceful, risking their life peacefully. And all this happened a little less than 2,000 years ago. The question is, is that, is that a long term or is it a short term? If we, if we, um, you know, I sometimes wonder why precisely that historical moment to incarnate, right? why, why, why can we use that, that moment? Um, and since uh, sometimes, since uh, sometime in the last, in the last times, I've, I've been feeling, because, um, Actually, um, the Jesus event is now, it's, it's happening now. I mean, uh, 2,000 years in, uh, in the history of Homo sapiens are a blink of the eye. Um, uh, God did not choose a moment far from all of us. Uh, he chose the now. Jesus appears in the midst of the empire, is killed by, empire, by the empire, and is resurrected in spite of the empire. Um, um, the kairos of revolution in the face of the empire is now, and, and, and Jesus, I feel really Jesus is accompanying us with his Holy Spirit. So that is also the other, if we have, um, Jesus is here now between us. I mean, he, we are in times of, we are still in time of resistance. We, maybe we got this idea that, okay, because of technological evolution, we have, uh, there has been a lot of evolution, but that we are the same human beings that 2,000 years ago, and, uh, and maybe the worst human beings. So um, he's here. We have a lot to do, and um, to just be a revolutionary and resilient, convivial community working locally and globally. I hope we can still do it. Thanks. Okay, so the way we're going to play this uh, is, is that we're going to take five to seven minutes now, then we're going to have a break over coffee, uh, and, and our perhaps our responses to the paper can also be part of the final session, which, which Nicholas is actually going to be um, moderating for us. But Nicholas, just to say, first of all, on behalf of everyone, a big thank you. Um, thank you for answering Richard's question, which was, how do we communicate to our churches? We use these kinds of visual aids. <laughs> I have a photograph of just how raptly everyone was staring at <laughs> so, so thank you. Um, a, qu a quick question to start. Um, what struck me about the video from the video was was that you've got a model of expertise about how to how to live with creation and, and 
And that's an interesting reversal. It's almost a parallel to the reverse mission, isn't it? Where, where actually what we would consider traditional, which means slightly primitive, etc., actually becomes the expertise that we need to, 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 to survive. Uh, and, and part of our Western um, inheritance that leaves us totally at sea in, this, in, in, the, in the crisis is that we only have models of domination and, and how, to, how to fix it by more extraction as per your elephants. Um, and I wondered, I wondered how optimistic you are that, that, that we will recognize those areas of expertise which are not where, where we're expert in the Western world. <laughs> uh, I, I mean, I believe we have the chance. I, I, I don't. I really am not able to 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 evaluate if if, if we can uh, if we are successful. But I mean, the examples are there. Um, it's not. All, it's also not easy for those for these communities. I mean, they are they are in the midst of of, of, of the tension with with white white uh, culture. So it's it's. Really, a challenge also for them to to preserve the, the, their their culture. No? In, in the in the schools, um, we run one school, but there are also state schools with the, this bilingual system where white teachers work together with indigenous teachers, and the indigenous teacher is not just the translator of the white culture, but it's the one who teaches the the uh, indigenous language, the indigenous history, cosmovision. Um, it's also a challenge for them uh, because also the child, are, uh, the children are under big pressure of, of, of okay, yeah. everyone has now cell phones or, or so it's, it's really uh, um, uh, um, the challenge, which we have not still resolved, but the, the challenge is to, to find a way of, uh, uh, preserving the culture, but in, in dialogue with the white culture, it's, it's impossible to be to be isolated. But the way is how I get in 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 in, in contact with the white culture, having my roots clear. I mean, uh, being in for a position of power in, in this in this areas. No, it, and we are working on this. Okay? But um, it, it's clearly the, 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 there are a lot of examples. Jenny Delgado spoke yes, yesterday about, about Ami Ayala. The, there are a lot of indigenous culture in, in Latin America still having a lot to, to share. No? And the, 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 the buen vivir, the, 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 the idea of, 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 of good living. No? Or, or as the paper states, this the earth without evil, no? the, which is still an ideal for, for, for them. Yeah. That is my second one. Thank you. We've got time for one or two more questions. I think I heard wrong on the video, but it talks about, I think somebody said that um, it's like, oh, we don't know where our water comes from anymore, like that it's coming from the tap, not from the river. Um, and are these some of the kind of tensions that you're dealing with, that the water from the stream is polluted, but indigenous people, the, the water comes from the stream. So how do you like deal with those tensions? Um, uh, building wells. Um, I mean, we, the, 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 the fact is that we, we, there is, in, in the case of Michelin's province, um, that's part of, of the reforest, reforestation program. We are trying to um, build to to protect the water wells, wells, yes, um, with trees and with uh, with um, building uh, a, a sort of I don't know how it, it's a protection you, you build so that the, the water doesn't become contaminated, um, and so we we do it together with I mean it's. We, our social worker gets together with the community. The community decides what is their, their priorities, being in secure water or doing or seeing how the, the, the wastewaters are being treated or, or sometimes it's electricity work. 
and then they do it together because some of those youth have been trained now in plumbery, uh, uh, plumbery, and so on. So they 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 do this you know, just because the water that came from a, through the river state it's probably also already polluted by 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 agriculture. So we have to they try to preserve their own water. Isn't that the questions from the group? No. But it's, it's not a question, it's a it's just wanting to, to draw out something that you said very quickly in passing, and I think I heard it right. You said you we realized we couldn't tell people about changing things by wagging the finger, but we had to show them an alternative. And I thought that might be something we might dwell on. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I mean, for, for it was a, it was also quite a, quite a shock for my for our team for our work because for um, we have been working many years. Uh, my, my church has a long history of working uh, in uh, of working in, in the slums with the centers for youth and, and and children and so on. And as we were doing this kind of things, everyone said, yeah, okay. But at the moment, we went in, uh, about environment and especially agrotoxic and so on. Uh, and some parts of the, of the church felt uh, criticized. Then we, we went, then we, we came to be a, a, a not so good name. And when we were, were, began to work in gender justice, it was still worse. Uh, um, but we just with the first uh, approaches was to show to bring doctors and show how bad cancer is 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 going on and, and showing the, the, these products these Monsanto products are bad and so on. But people closed themselves, um, because, uh, closed because they were angry, because they were afraid, because it, it's, it's I don't want to, to know I'm doing harm or that my that my wife died because of me. Um, or, or, or what I will do if I cannot produce this way. So we changed the approach and we just invite people to visit agroecological farms to see, to speak, and to speak with other farmers, not just with the pastor who leads the program, <laughs> but to a farmer from our church who is working at the school and who can tell where they can speak peer to peer about what went good and what went well. And most of our farmers, they just went into our school college with mixed, pro, with mixed approaches where they still produce some soya beans to get some money uh, for, for sustaining the, the transition to our, because transition takes five years and it's, 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 it's expensive. So, but they are seeing it's possible. No, it, it, it brings, and especially nowadays where we had this terrible drought, the industrial farmers, they have to in depth themselves always on the beginning of the season because they have to buy all these products and all the, on the Tanzanian grain, grains and so on. And when you have a drought, you get you you lose everything, but you you you, you are stuck in debt. The agroecological farmer he has no he has no initial uh, debt. He, he he only uses his grain if the drought. Uh, um, um, destroys his production, he, he only has lost his production, but he's not indebted. Mm -hmm. So that, these are the kind of examples they are beginning to see. But it's a long process, and the problem is we have no state, um, the state uh, subsidy where, or to do, uh, where the state says, okay, we, we promote this, because the state is more in, more interested, the Argentinian state is more interested in even uh, making our agro, uh, agro cultural border still farther away, going over the forest, over the, tree, the, 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 the trees to just produce more soybean to have get more dollars to pay our nice external debt. Nicholas, thank you so much for, for um, it's not only for this session, but also for your time among us. You've been generous and you shared so much of your wisdom with us. I'm sorry we've only been able to offer you Guinness in return, <laughs> but uh, 
but we thank you for this. And perhaps as we, particularly as we go to, um, to coffee and this break, before we come back to our final session, which as I've said, Nicholas will be moderating, to, to think further on the suggestion at the end of Nicholas's paper about locating ourselves maybe in, in, in parallel with the Church of the Catacombs. And, and, and does, that, does that help us? Uh, what does it give us? Um, we started with a video of, of going back to traditional farming, and we end with your paper uh, with a you end your paper with a proposal to go back to a particular period in our church's history, that uh, where we might find resources. So, thank you. No.